The letter I'm going to read and other letters referenced in this letter are all available, I believe, on Senator Grassley's website. We'll provide a link to it so you can look at them yourselves because there's other material there that you're going to want to read. So he writes uh, in this July 25th letter that's been released this week, Dear Attorney General Garland and Director Ray, Senator Grassley writes, on May 31st, 2022, I wrote to you regarding likely violations of federal laws, regulations, and FBI guidelines by Assistant Special Agent in Charge Timothy Thibault of the Washington Field Office of the FBI based on a pattern of active public partisanship in his then public social media content. In that letter, I noted that Congress has a constitutional responsibility to ensure that the executive branch executes the law and uses taxpayer money appropriated to it in accordance with congressional intent. In furtherance of that constitutional responsibility, Congress has an obligation to investigate the executive branch for fraud, waste, abuse, and gross mismanagement, acts which undermine faith in the American people's government institutions. Those constitutional and legislative responsibilities apply to this letter to you. My letter also invited individuals including current and former government employees to contact me in my office to confidentially report allegations of fraud, waste, abuse, and gross mismanagement by FBI and Justice Department officials, including, but not limited to, uh, uh, Special Agent Thibault. In a response, my office has received a significant number of protected communications from highly credible whistleblowers. So to interpret that paragraph is, I wrote a letter to you back in late May of 2022, a little over two months ago, and I told you that you had a FBI special agent who was a left-wing ideologue, and he was tweeting all this anti-conservative, anti-Republican material on his internet. And I think it's been taken down since. And I said, if there's anyone else who has other concerns, come to me. And by protected communications, that means whistleblowers communicating with Congress where they gain protection from retaliation as a result of their whistleblower status, meaning that's why the communications court are protected. The information provided to my office involves concerns about the FBI's receipt and use of derogatory information relating to Hunter Biden and the FBI's false betrayal of acquired evidence as disinformation. The volume and consistency of these allegations substantiate their credibility and necessitate this letter. First, it's been alleged that the FBI developed information in 2020 about Hunter Biden's criminal, financial, and related activity. It is further alleged that in August of 2020, FBI Supervisory Intelligence Ana Analyst Brian Auten, A-U-T-E-N, opened an assessment which was used by an FBI headquarters team to improperly discredit negative Hunter Biden information as disinformation and caused investigative activity to cease. Based on allegations verified and verifiable, derogatory information on Hunter Biden was falsely labeled as disinformation. The basis for how the FBI headquarters team selected the specific information for inclusion in Auten's assessment is unknown, but in more than one instance, the focus of the FBI headquarter team's attention involved derogatory information about Hunter Biden. Accordingly, the allegations provided to my office appear to indicate there was a scheme in place among certain FBI officials to undermine derogatory information connected to Hunter Biden by falsely suggesting it was disinformation. Importantly, it's been alleged to my office that Auten's assessment was open in August 2020, which is the same month that Senator Johnson and I received an unsolicited an unnecessary briefing from the FBI that purportedly related to our Biden investigation and a briefing for which the contents were later leaked in order to paint the investigation in a false light. So what was going on is they knew uh, Johnson and Grassley were investigating Hunter Biden and they were desperate. So the left, including members of the House, started leaking obviously with the FBI and Justice Department's assistance in terms of spinning, the, uh, the, the fanciful notion that somehow Hunter Biden's laptop was, di was Russia disinformation, and it wasn't. Really obstruction of Congress in that regard, isn't it? As Senator Johnson and I have publicly noted on July 13, 2020, then Minority Leader Chuck Schumer 
Senator Mark Warner, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and there you have it, Representative Adam Schiff, there he is again, sent a letter with a classified attachment to the FBI to express the purported belief that Congress was the subject of a foreign disinformation campaign. The July 13, 2020 letter included unclassified elements that, among other things, unsuccessfully attempted to tie our investigative work to foreign disinformation. Those unclassified elements were later leaked to the press to try and smear our Biden investigation as unrelated foreign disinformation. Then on July 16, 2020, then ranking member Peters and then ranking member Wyden uh, these are uh, senators, requested a briefing on matters related to my and Senator Johnson's Biden's investigation from the very same FBI headquarters team that discredited the derogatory Hunter Biden information. The concurrent opening of Orton's assessment, which, as I said, was as he says, was designed to protect Biden, the efforts by the FBI headquarters team and the efforts by the FBI to provide an unnecessary briefing to me, it was a setup. And Senator Johnson that provided our Democratic colleagues fodder to falsely accuse us of advancing foreign disinformation draws serious concern. I'd say. Second, it has been alleged that in September 2020, investigators from the same FBI headquarters team were in communication with FBI agents responsible for the Hunter Biden information targeted by Auten's assessment. The FBI headquarters team investigators placed their findings with respect to whether reporting was disinformation in a restricted access subfile reviewable only by the particular agents responsible for uncovering the specific information. This is problematic because it does not allow for proper oversight and opens the door to improper influence. So it was a cover up even within the FBI. That's how I read this. Third, in October 2020, an avenue of additional derogatory Hunter Biden reporting was ordered closed at the direction of uh, the special agent uh, Tebow. My office has been made aware that the FBI agents responsible for this information were interviewed by the FBI headquarters team in furtherance of Auten's assessment. It's been alleged that the FBI headquarters team suggested to the FBI agents that the information was at risk of disinformation. However, according to allegations, all of the reporting was either verified or verifiable via criminal search warrants. In addition, Special Agent Thibault allegedly ordered the matter closed without providing a valid reason as required by FBI guidelines. Despite the matter being closed in such a way that the investigative avenue might be open later, it's alleged that the FBI officials, including Thibault, subsequently attempted to improperly mark the matter in FBI systems so that it could not be opened in the future. The aforementioned allegations put a finer point on concerns I have raised for many years about the political considerations infecting the decision-making process at the Justice Department and FBI. If these allegations are true and accurate, the Justice Department and the FBI are and have been institutionally corrupted to their very core to the point to which the United States Congress and the American people will have no confidence in the equal application of the law. Attorney General Garland and Director Ray simply put, based on the allegations that I've received from numerous whistleblowers, you have systemic and ex existential problems within your agencies. You have an obligation to the country to take these allegations seriously, immediately investigate and take steps to institute fixes to these and other matters before you. In light of these serious allegations and my ongoing investigation into the Justice Department and FBI misconduct, I expect you to provide the following no later than August 8th, 2022, as a preliminary matter so that Congress can perform an objective and independent review of the alleged misconduct. The case file for the Auten assessment, that fraud assessment, all records derived from reporting or derogatory information linked to Hunter Biden, James Biden, the president's brother, and their foreign business relationships that were overseen under the approval guidance and purview of Special Agent Thibault from January 20. January 1st, 2020, to the present. All records related to the derogatory information on Hunter Biden, James Biden, and their foreign business relationships. All leads sent to the Washington Field Office of the FBI that were under the purview of Special Agent Thibault that were ordered closed by, closed by Thibault and or denied for opening by the Justice Department's Public Integrity Section. All opened and closed cases 
initiated by the Washington field office of the FBI that were under the purview of Tebow that were ordered closed by him and were denied for opening by the Justice Department's public integrity section. With respect to the August 2020 FBI briefing given to Senator Johnson and me, a copy of the FBI 302 for the briefing, all intelligence reporting products and analysis that formed the basis for the briefing, the names of the persons who recommended that Senator Johnson and I be briefed, a description of the process for deciding to brief us, and all records, including emails relating to the briefing. Sincerely, Chuck Rassley, Ranking Member, Committee on the Judiciary. That's a pretty good letter, and it would have been even better if he had mentioned Joe Biden, because obviously this is what the cover-up he's uh, highlighting is about. It's about protecting Joe Biden from the consequences of uh, his work uh, his conspiracy, his collusion, his racketeering with his son, his brothers, and who knows who else to turn his public office, uh, certainly as vice president, into um, a cash machine for him and his family. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.